What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you three one-handed cuts. I'm going to be teaching you the charlier cut, the scissor cut, and the revolution cut. So let's get started with the charlier cut. Okay, so first things first is upper straddle grip. You need to know this for all three cuts. You keep the pinky and the index finger on the short sides, the middle and the the middle and ring finger on the long side and the thumb on the opposite long side and it should be at the very tips of your fingers. Once you got straddle grip down, we're going to start with the first one handed cut. You use your index to peel down half the deck. You lift your thumb, the bottom part of your thumb a little bit so you could clear the cards. You drop half of the deck in your hand. You could relax your hand now but keep all these fingers on except the index. Now you use the index to push this corner. You push it. When you push it, you let go with your thumb a little bit so the, the, the deck could clear, the packet could clear. And then once it's cleared, the packet should drop on the knuckle of your, of your index finger. Then you move your index finger and the deck closes by itself. And that's the Charlie haircut. We're gonna do it one more time slowly half the deck, push with the index, let go with the thumb, drop the packet, move your index and close. So this is it fast. Now for the scissor cut, it's the same thing, but you use your thumb. You put your thumb on the bottom left corner, you lift up half the deck, you let go with your ring finger and your middle finger, but it's still on the bottom packet. You're still holding on to the bottom packet, but the top packet you let go with these fingers. Now you use your thumb to pivot around the index finger. When you're pivoting, you're using your pinky, your ring finger and your middle finger to pivot this deck anti-clockwise around the index while this is being pivoted clockwise. So you're pulling this that way and you're moving your thumb this way. So once the deck reaches this point, has to clear. Once it clears, you do the same thing, but reverse it. When you reverse it, it closes up and that's the scissor cut. Now let's do the revolution cut. Same thing, right? But you start with the charlier cut. The first step of the charlier cut, you take half, right? But instead of keeping your hand relaxed, you switch your index with the middle finger. You move it over. You grab the, the packet at the top and you let go with all your other fingers except your thumb. So now you could pivot this deck around. You can move, use your thumb to pivot around your index. So you pivot it around your index and your ring finger goes around. Once it goes around completely like this, you clip it while letting go with your thumb. You clip it between your index and your ring finger. You let go with your thumb. Now you use your ring finger to pivot it around the, the index finger like this. You could use your middle finger for support so the cards don't fall. While you're pivoting it, you could put your pinky also as support. For this part, you use your thumb to pull on this packet right here. You're pulling it down so this clears. When it clears, you have to move your index finger and the deck closes like that. So let's do it one more time, slowly. Half the deck, move your index finger over, pivot, the ring finger goes around, clip, let go with the thumb, use your other fingers as support, move your index, boom, it's done. So this is how it looks fast. One little tip I have for this is what I like to do is do the movement of me going forward, then back, and then doing it. So I would go forward, back, and then do it. So when it's fast, instead of just doing the move, it seems like there's a lot more going on than there really is. Move it back and then boom, like that. So that was the revolution cut, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for anyone wondering, these cards are the Parrot Fontaines. As you guys can see, it matches my hoodie. That's why I wore it. In the future, I might start doing deck reviews. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. So those are my three favorite one-handed cuts. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something out of it. If you guys learned it for the first time, I want you guys to tag me on Instagram and post a video of you doing it, and I'll be sure to repost it. So if you guys like this video, like it, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what else you guys wanna see. Thanks.